So we'll see the Broncos offense now for the first time. Steering the ship already in charge in just his first season, their rookie signal caller from the Ohio State University. It's always fun. Put a smile on my face when I see a rookie leading an offense out. A lot of them, a lot of them look like 10-year vets with confidence and poise in the middle of that huddle, middle of their teammates. And let's watch his first couple throws. That's where sometimes you can see some of those nerves slipping through. And he's brought down across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. We get a look at his rushing numbers from last week here. What he was able to do in support of that win. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. From the 16. He finds the open man there, complete. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. A gain of 27 yards there. And the Broncos will have a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Back to pass on first and 10. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And now they face second down. Up the gut they go with Williams. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And he's going to go down. Jets brought the pressure and got to him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense, and now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks, and sacks in this league often leads to wins. and their quarterback ready to take over once again. And their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Go. On first down, they'll run. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. Humble five, six-yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game-changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game, and it'll be third and five coming up. Play coming here. Completed to Reynolds. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. The Broncos. 
Broncos headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And it's been a very slow start offensively. Let's see if this drive is the one they can break through and put up the game's first points. some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Second and eight. Patrick with the catch. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Let's go now. Back to throw. Finding Reynolds. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And that'll be good for a Denver first. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Pass play on first and ten. Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos go up 6-0 here in the first. Cortland Sutton, the touchdown! So an absolutely beautiful throw there, finding his man in space who turns it into six. Yeah, they really took advantage there, Kate, of some soft coverage. You want that on that corner route. Plenty of space for that route to develop. Great execution, and it pays off with the touchdown. Broncos are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. They're on a three-game winning streak, Brock, and working to stretch that out to four. just not going to be stopped. Not by the first defender, okay, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. The Jets get there and bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. And right there's the danger, Kate, when you put the ball in the air. How many times do we see these coordinators when you get a nice run, right? You gain some steam on the ground, you stick with the ground game. They don't, they call the pass, and the defense reacts, and reacts well with the sack. Go. Tossing right to the short side. And he'll have a short pick up down to the 17. He gets them the yard back, but still behind the sticks. Upcoming third and 11. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. No! Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Oh, that is uh, that is such a bummer. A dropped touchdown right in the end zone. We're gonna see how quickly he can flush this one. He better because they gotta make an impact later.
Visitors ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And they were able to contribute three points to the lead their last time out. Another chance to build on that advantage here. They're going to throw here to begin the drive. Lays out left side and gets it. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. This is Williams. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Ball at the 33 for first down. He'll throw it. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play. Jarrett Luge incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And now it's second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Second and ten now. Gets this one to Patrick. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Off to Williams. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Second down now, seven to go. Dropping back to throw. He brings it in. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Let's go now. Go. They'll try and punch it in. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The Broncos grow their before halftime, Javante Williams, the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. And it looks likely they'll carry a two-score advantage into that locker room. Play action on first down. To the left sideline, complete. They strike for 23 yards. And the Broncos will have a first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. 
A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Look to throw. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. And it sets up second down. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those true throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Open receiver caught. And he's able to get this down to the 36. Timeout taken by the offense, they're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Down inside the 40 now with a first down following that last play. Still sticking with the passing game. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll score! Touchdown, Denver! The Broncos get more points to end a lopsided first half. Cortland Sutton, the touchdown! His second scoring catch of the game. And they've loved the scoring production he's brought out of their offense. That touchdown gives him 10 on the season. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. And their offense has been playing at an extremely high level as this has become a runaway quickly. They've scored each of their last two times out. To the air now on first and ten. Completed to Sutton. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's able to get it past midfield and down into the jet side. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. So much to like about that room, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Another run for Williams. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you could recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down coming. First and 10 from the 41. They stay on the ground with William. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. This time it's a passing play. 
And he's going to go down. Jets brought the pressure and got to him. And then pushes him back. Third down coming up. When nothing opens up, that becomes a pretty clear throwaway spot. I mean, that is textbook throwaway spot right there, Kate. Get outside the box, chuck it into the third row, and avoid exactly what happened right there. Because now third down is so much harder. Third and long for him here. Complete beyond the marker. And they get this down to the 28. So third and 16, no problem for them as they get the first. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Here we go, A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. On the handoff, this is Williams. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Schlerer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says, if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. Come on, here's the pylon. And he takes it down to the two, but no touchdown. He's out of bounds. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Let's go now. Handoff goes to Williams, running right. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Even on the outer edges of this field, Kate, a cornerback making a stop behind the line, it's impressive. But in the middle third, that takes a special and fearless type of cornerback. Second chance at six here, it's second and goal. Here's a throw. And he'll score, touchdown Denver! The Broncos grow the lead coming out of halftime. Cortland Sutton, the touchdown. His third through the air this game. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. equivalent of a run of 15 plus at the high school level it's hard in the run game to make yards and they just got a very successful one another carry for him and this one doesn't go far just two yards there on the carry they're gonna need another two now on third down Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Broncos football, and they should be able to coast right through this fourth with that kind of lead.
Third and just two to go. Set. Go. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. Try and get in it to Cortland Sutton. And that brings up fourth and short. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. on the carry. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. It's a gain of 12 there. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Back to the well again. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. Give him three yards. That's going to bring up third and two. He's dropping back to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. Setting up a throw. He finds it beyond the marker. And he pushes this down. 's was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Ready, now keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Ready. Throwing from the gun here. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Let's go. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll motion a tight end left. Check out. Going ground on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Denver. Broncos continue piling on to the advantage. Javante Williams, the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it.
All set. Go. They'll run. This is Williams. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They give it to him again. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains. And that is one disheartening look on that defense. Let's go now. Alert! Alert! Going to the ground again on first. And they needed more than one defender there. Powerful runner stopped for just one yard. The only thing I can say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Set up. <laughs> Going left side, Williams with it. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. Here we go, here we go. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And they can't chop to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. So the Broncos ride out of here with a win on the road. And they're continuing to survive among the final remaining unbeaten teams across the NFL as they're now up to a 3-0 start.